Hello everyone, this is Panda. So just a moment ago, I just changed all the bearings to my rollerblade bearings. So I took eight bearings out from my rollerblades and put them into all the rollerblade, I mean all the wheels on the wagon. And now that that left wheel doesn't vibrate or shake anymore, as you can see. I'm gonna walk with it. See, it's not shaking anymore. So it's shaking a little bit, but not as serious as before. There's a snowstorm coming, so be aware. New York City, Tuesday will be the day. I mean, well, Monday afternoon will be the day to Wednesday, but I digress. But anyway, I had to change the bearings to my rollerblade bearings because the bearings that were provided in this wagon are mediocre cheap. You can buy them on Amazon for like seven, eight dollars for a 16 pack, which is not very good bearings. Guys, if you know board bearings, if you're a skateboarder or your rollerblader, or if you are a long bottom, you know that I put in my Swiss bone bearings inside these wheels. They're not cheap bearings. Their bearings cost about $140 US dollars. Mind you, keep in mind that these are my rollerblades. These are my professional aggressive inline rollerblades. The boot costs $300 by itself. The frame is $150. The wheels are like, I don't know, like a 30 for a four pack. And the board bearings were 140 US dollars. They are Swiss bone bearings. So with that said, so I just replaced all the bearings. I took I took the middle wheels bearings out from my rollerblades and kept the, the back front on each wheel. But now it doesn't make that stupid noise that you were hearing yesterday in the live stream. And that was, was because of those ball bearings. They were cheap. They were not good at all. So I'm trying to tell my friend Melissa to please contact Amazon to get a partial refund because this is not what I purchased. The ball bearings should have lasted at least 90 days but they broke on the first, second, and third day. And now this is probably the seventh day with the wagon, so take it with the grain of salt. It's a beautiful day, but it's gonna snow tomorrow. Yes, apparently there's gonna be a, uh, a winter storm in effect for tomorrow, I don't know. That's what it said on, on the the weather.com website and a lot of people are preparing in New York City for it so yeah and the ball bearings like I said I took my ball bearings out from my rollerblades and I put the old bearings inside my rollerblades while well, what was left <laughs> oh you birds wanna shit on me oh you fucking crazy get out of here lady with that shit you got the birds trying to shit on me man Look, right there. Try to shit on me right there. Come on, friend. So yeah, I see how quiet it is now? It's so quiet. Because those Swiss ball bearings are the best ball bearings you can buy. You can, this, the, the Swiss ball bearings is the best you can buy for inline rollerblading, skateboarding, longboarding, high speed, whatever, down sloping. This lady just fucking poured like fucking birds try to shit on me. Come on, friend. This is why I don't feed these French pigeons. You guys don't know these pigeons are from France. So they migrated on the boat to America back in the day. That's how we got pigeons in the US. <laughs> well, that's how you guys got pigeons in the US. So if you don't guys don't know about the New York pigeon, 
the New York Pigeon is actually from France. <laughs> but you know what? I can't believe that bird tried to shit on me, friend. <laughs> but yeah, so much quiet, so much better with the Swiss ball bearings inside. And this is why I want to emphasize to the wagon, it's not a TMZ wagon, because I brought it from a different brand, but I really want to talk to the seller. You provide me with shitty bearings that broke on the first day. So with that said everyone, I'm gonna demonstrate again why the left wheel is so much better now. It's not doing that wiggly, wobbly, shaking shit that you have seen yesterday. See, it's not even making noise anymore. It's just a smooth ride. Oh, a little bit shake there. But yeah, those bearings are, these bearings that originally came with this wagon sucked so bad. <laughs> it sucked so bad, guys, that if you were just, if you were not me, if you were just someone that was just going grocery shopping, and you put groceries in this in this wagon and you were rolling down the street and you started hearing some tingling in the wheels that means the ball bearings are breaking they can't and here's the reason why they're not made out of titanium the swiss ball bearings are made out of titanium any professional rollerblading or skateboarding or longboarding or high speed bearings are made out of a premium material called titanium so with that said, everyone, the wagon's fixed. So take it with the grain of salt. But it's Sunday. I was in Starbucks, but I got annoyed by Starbucks employees. Yeah, I got annoyed. I'm sorry, but like there are certain start. Let me explain this. When I go in Starbucks, it's like they don't understand English. You tell them your name and they don't spell it out. It's like panda, like the bear. And they just don't put your name on your drink. Not only that, there's been like a couple of times when you guys donated and I went to go get hot chocolate. They make my hot chocolate so flat that it doesn't taste like hot chocolate. It tastes like almond milk. And I did not ask for whip. I said no whip. But you add whip. Oh, it's 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 almond milk whip. I didn't ask for whip. That's the point. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just want to let you guys know that like uh, I'm sick of Starbucks. Like the whole like I'm sorry, but like hot chocolate for almost eight dollars, and they get it wrong twice. Oh man, let me let me emphasize a video. It's so embarrassing. So they did it again, and this time it has a little bit more hot chocolate, but it still tastes like full almond milk. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy any more hot chocolate from Starbucks because it's very inconsistent. One place makes it very thick, other places make it too thin, other places make it right, and other places don't make it right. I don't understand. So with that said, everyone, not a very good hot chocolate for almost $8 price at Starbucks. I'm sorry, but it's overpriced for bullshit techniques. Honestly. It is overpriced for a bullshit technique. So I asked Starbucks employees, do you guys have a recipe? Do you guys follow the recipe? He goes, I don't, what recipe? I was like, wait, 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 wait. Starbucks has a recipe. You either put three cups or two teaspoons or two tablespoons or three tablespoons or two cups of chalk, hot chocolate powder in the cup or one cup of, what's the ingredients to making hot chocolate? And this is why I don't want to do Starbucks anymore. And I don't want to buy from Starbucks. They overprice their shit. And not only they overprice, but they rip you off. They literally gave me a half cup full. If you buy a verte, a verte is like a tall size uh, cup, right? If you buy a verte, it should be full to the top, but it's not. It was half cup. And then when I went back, 
They said, oh, I apologize. It's mostly, they said, I must have made it wrong. It's like, dude, what's the ingredients to making hot chocolate? Is it one cup, two cups, two tablespoons, three tablespoons? What's your ingredients? They don't have an ingredient. It's based on how the person, the employee feels how much they should put hot chocolate into the cup. That's so not cool. You call yourself a professional coffee shop, Starbucks, but you can't even make hot chocolate. <laughs> Sorry. But Christina just said Dunkin Dunkin Donuts is better, and I refuse to shop at Dunkin Donuts either because if you know about the history about Dunkin Donuts, it doesn't have a really good history either. And I honestly think that hot chocolate on Dunkin Donuts. Here's the thing: Dunkin Donuts doesn't have almond milk or soy or oak. They only have one percent two. What is it? One percent skip milk, full milk, and. What was the, whatever the milk it is, Starbucks is, has always been overpriced. Yeah, they always have been overpriced. But, ah, oh, my panda. I need to buy bearings for my rollerblades. If I'm gonna keep these bearings in these in this wagon, I need to buy new bearings for the rollerblades, or take my bearings out of the wagon wheels and buy bearings for the wagon, which I do have. I think I have it. A picture of what I want. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm not trying to go too expensive on this wagon, but look at this guys. I can get some rollerblade and washer spacers for like $17 on Amazon. And they're legit. Has a good rating. $17, yeah. And 18% cream milkshake? Ugh. Ew. Dude, I'm vegan. That's why I... Did you, are you listening, Cloud? I don't drink regular milk. This is why when you said soy and you gave that face, that emoji face, I'm like, wait, you realize the whole time, time I'm pescatarian vegan. I don't do any dairy because I'm low-toss intolerant. Obviously, duh. <laughs> It's not disgusting. You know what's disgusting? Milk. That's sperm. That's cow sperm. <laughs> if you didn't know that by now, then you should know that. It's called cow sperm. Yeah, milk is actually cow sperm. Yeah, if you didn't know that, then you need to go back to school and do your biology class course over again about animal anatomy and then come back to me in this comment and then tell me you're right they do categorize it as cow sperm <laughs> and mind you guys i just recently learned that like seven years ago and i was like oh shit that's what my professor was saying you like drinking sperm <laughs> but anyway so these are the barons that i'm i'm trying to get but uh yeah what the fuck, man? I can't... In Friend, I said almond milk, not soy milk. See, there's a difference. Almond milk and soy milk are two different milks. Some, uh, soy milk is thick and has a lot of protein. Almond milk doesn't have a lot of protein and is much lighter. But drinking chocolate milk with soy milk is unpleasant. In my opinion, it's unpleasant. It's too thick. It's too heavy. I want something balanced. And almond milk does the balance for me. Now, oat milk, on the other hand, does not do the balance for me because it does not taste very well with hot chocolate. So with that said, everyone, I'm just emphasizing why you should learn what foods that you're actually consuming. Because if you don't know what you're consuming, then don't say anything. Because it shows a lot of uneducated value about what you don't know about soy, almond, or oat milk. I just explained this last night about what foods that you should intake, like celery seeds. It has to be authentic celery seeds. Why? Because they have this chemical called inetrogen, which helps regulate your lower abdominal intestines. So if you get abdominal cramps, in the lower area down your stomach 
Well, celery seeds would help. Not only that, avocado, garlic, and not only that, if you can't find natural, if you can't not find natural celery seeds, go to the supermarket, go buy some celery, eat the leaves off the celery. Those have so much value than the celery itself. If you don't believe me, ask any fucking doctor, ask any fucking dietitian. They will tell you like, yeah, you should eat those those leaves off the celery. It's actually pretty damn good for you. But like I said, no one ever fucking wants to listen to me. Everyone thinks I'm ranting, complaining. When you fucking don't even even eat well. I'm homeless and I eat better than you and I eat once a day probably or at least once twice a day and I eat the right things when I do eat. I'm just emphasizing why it, a lot of people don't know what they're talking about and even I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes out to basketball or football, American football, American basketball. I don't watch those sports all the time. I don't. To be honest, but when it comes down to the fucking nutrition foods, I know my foods. I know what you should intake. And most people, are, like I said, about sushi in America, 100% of sushi in America in any goddamn supermarket is fake sushi. It's substitute fish. Some fish that is substitute, like t like salmon. That's not salmon what you eat in. That's a that's a tuna. From food from the Philippines that you're eating, so that's not salmon. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you guys don't want to listen to me. Fine, don't listen to me. Wait till my Japanese friends tell you that Panda was right. You guys don't get it. There's a lot of food banned in America that they literally ban it because it's too healthy, and sometimes it's just too toxic, or people are not used to the concept. Of eating bizarre foods all the time and that's the problem just like this fucking wagon man breaking every single day there's always a problem with a brand new wagon you should buy something that says what it says that it claims to be that's my point of my conversation here never buy something that is that says it's claiming to be something and you find out it's not and this is why I'm trying to get my friend Melissa to literally fucking get a refund for this wagon. Because everything about this wagon was bullshit. The ball bearings suck. The ball bearings suck. You literally put some $5 ball bearings inside a ball bearing knowing that it wasn't going to last a day. So the seller or the manufacturer knew this, but did it just completely avoid it. By saying like let the let the customer deal with it. But you sell it on Amazon, I can get a refund because of you, you dumbass. <laughs> and I'm telling my Supreme Melissa, he has to get at least a partial refund or a full refund because this was unacceptable. And she refuses to talk to Amazon. So I told her, Can you give me the cause I gave you the money? It's my purchase. So why not just, just do the right thing and get the money back for it? Because I just literally put $100 worth of bearings inside this wagon. When I should not ever do that, ever. I never have done that to any of my wagons. Either I had took the previous ball bearings from the other wagon and put them inside the new wagon. And those took a while to break. No, for, Cloud, you need to understand structurally. This is a weak spot. This is a weak spot. Every single cart that I had, it broke there. It didn't break in the front, didn't break in the middle, it broke there. That's a weak spot. The problem is bad soldering. People are too lazy and too quick to solder something real quick and not examine it afterwards. That's the problem. A good solderer would make sure that, that was this piece here is solder pretty damn good. But no, this is a this is a manufacturer, they're selling something on Amazon, they don't care. They don't care. We know for a fact every single wagon that we purchased, this broke completely. Every single time. Why? I can tell you why. 
these wagons are not met for what I'm capable of doing with all this stuff. It claimed that it can support 220 pounds. That's a lie. It only can support up to 180 pounds the most. So that's a lie. And this is why when I make reviews on these products, no one watches the content in full. Everyone thinks I'm complaining, but I'm a consumer. I purchased this with the money that was given to me. So I tried to make the smart, best decision to buy in something. And you guys say I'm always complaining. Okay. Then don't watch the video. You feel like I'm complaining because think about it. It's not a complaint. If a product goes bad within the first day, you have 100%, 125% right to complain about a wagon that malfunction. This is what happened last night with this so called person trying to be me. So, guys, if you don't know, I have another website called 646 Studios. This person tried to portray them as themselves as 646 Studios, take it with a grain of salt. I don't like this person. That's why I blocked this person from the YouTube channel. This person has been negatively giving me the down door. He, he or she, I don't know, always gives me the negative downs dislike. So I've been doing some homework, filtering out some people on the Instagram. I know, I mean, on the YouTube channel, I know, even with, let me tell you something, Cloud. See, this is what you don't know, Cloud. Even with the protection plan, they still give you a hard time on Amazon. Yes. They give you a hard time because you have to now not contact Amazon. You have to contact the outside agency that's responsible for the protection plan. And then they have to decide if they need to send, give you a box to send them back or there's nothing they can do or they give you a partial refund. They have to talk to Amazon. That can take up to 21 days. This is why I always go direct to Amazon. This is why I never buy the protection plan because the protection plan doesn't cover the first day. Let me explain why it doesn't cover the first day. Because the protection plan doesn't kick in until after the third day. <laughs> if you get the protection plan, you should know this by now because I have done that all the time on Amazon. It never kicks in until like a week later and then they ask you if you want to upgrade that protection plan. It's a scam. To spend more money on the protection plan when it's not a scam. It, 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 it is a scam and say, because guess what? All products from Amazon has 30 day return. No matter if you don't have the protection plan or not. It automatically has a return policy or a refund policy. 30 days on any product on Amazon automatically comes with this 30 day policy. Simple as that. So why do you need to buy a protection plan? Are you going to get a refund on your protection plan? Because if you get a refund on your Amazon product, you're not going to get a refund on your protection plan because that's a separate purchase. Mind you that. That is a separate purchase. Even though you purchase it at the same time and you add it to your cart, it's technically a separate purchase. If you are an Amazon affiliate or a social like I am, you know that is a separate purchase purchase so you have to contact that agency to get the money back and say hey i got a refund back from amazon amazon's supposed to inform you you're supposed to refund the money back to me can you confirm the order id number that's what they do every single time i have done this before i know this because i'm a pro at it <laughs> trust me when i tell you i'm a pro at it so start listening Amazon provided me a wagon with sake ball bearings. The seller sold me a wagon with sake ball bearings. He or she knew that the bearings they put inside these ball bearings would not last no more than 48 hours because of the strength, the weight, and the heat resistance. That's why it came apart. Guys don't know about ball bearings? That's why I purchased Swiss ball bearings for my rollerblades. Because it's made out of titanium and titanium what? What does titanium do to the heat? It dissipates. It can actually absorb the heat. It can withstand the heat. It can actually do it for long periods of time. If you guys have seen any of my videos rollerblading in the streets of New York or Boston or whatever, 
Why you think I'm going so fast? Because of the Swiss barbarians. And you don't think those Swiss barbarians are contracting heat? They are contacting heat all the time. That's why the barbarians with these wagons fail. Because they are not meant for high endurance heat. And when you roll the ball bearings, what happens when you roll ball bearings, ladies and gentlemen? Heat friction happens. Heat friction. What happens when you turn the wheel constantly? Heat develops, right? What do you call that in science class, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna give you a chance to prove yourselves. What do you call that? You're cycling the heat, right? And what happens when you cycle heat? It gets hotter and hotter. If the materials on the ball bearings cannot withstand that heat, it's going to fall apart, just like the ball bearings on this wagon. I just proven my point. I'm telling you guys, I'm a fucking professional stunt rollerblader. I do stunts on rollerblades and sk snowboards and skateboards. I know what ball bearings matter. Those are not real ball bearings. Those are fake ass ball bearings. Friction, correct. Friction happens, Cloud, correct. And what happens when friction and heat gets together when something like a ball bearing cannot withstand that friction and heat? It will break in half, just like every single ball bearing since the week I had it. It's only been a week I had this wagon and it already fell apart. So I emphasize people, please be careful on what you buy on Amazon and how you buy it and make sure you, you, you give Amazon your two cents. As a consumer, you are you have the right, as a consumer, you have the right to let any any B and H store manufactured, I don't give a fuck it's Target, Walgreens, whatever. You have a right to complain about the product that malfunction. If they don't man up to their policy, then you shouldn't shop there anymore. Or the fact that you know that you can't rely on them. And this is why I stopped relying on Amazon for a long time now. Because I know that this shit would happen again. I knew the ball bearings were gonna break up, but I didn't know that the ball bearings were going to break on the first day. Not even just the first day, guys. Within the first eight hours of me having the wagon, it broke. It took eight hours for the ball bearings to break. Eight hours. Think about that, eight hours. Eight hours. Oh my panda, that's a disgrace. You call that a product? Come on, friend. I just put $140 bearings worth, it, worth inside my wagon. Now I can't fucking properly you know, do grinds on my wheels, because there's one, two, three, four, and the two wheels, on both wheels, I took out. But it still rides flat. I'm not gonna skate with those ball bearings inside my, in my wheels. Why I put the ball, the ball bearings inside my wheels? Because I don't wanna lose my wheels. These wheels are not cheap. These wheels are not cheap. You got, you got 40 bucks to spend on four wheels? Please give it to me. Give it to me. That's the thing when people keep saying, oh, it's made in China. Guess what? This cart was made in the US. Yeah, it's made in the US. All TMZ wagons or in these wagons are made in the US. You read the goddamn Amazon link again. I'm telling you guys, read the fine prints. It says US made. <laughs> US mid or the seller's line so I'm going to emphasize some things guys you guys say it's made in China alright you want to blame China for the problems guess what I don't, I don't think so this is made in China this is made in China these are high quality fucking video and photography gear from Selway Photo you going to tell them are you going to accuse them of making fake and cheap products too so stop saying that China shit. Seriously, guys. It's based on how the seller, it's not because it's China. It's based how what seller is trying to use the cheapest method to make a product and sell it on Amazon. 
<laughs> That's what you don't understand. I said, Amazon seller, I know. Everyone tries to find a cheap, cheap alternative to make their products in China. And they try to upsell it for 300%. But Sunway Photo makes their products in China. And guess what? You, do you see this breaking on the first day? No. So stop saying that shit. Made in China. Guess what? Guess what? Let me let, let me prove something to you. Small rigs. Small rigs is made in China. Oh yeah. You didn't you didn't know that, did you? Small rigs gear, if you know, is made in China. Sunway photo. Any brand name photography gear have these gears are made in China. So what is your point saying that oh it's made in China so it's cheap? No, that's not true. Just like in America, there are pretty premium products and there's some cheap products. Like, like, for instance, Walmart. If you go to Walmart, you buy a cheap bed or a cheap bed frame. What happens to that couch or that cheap bed frame? It breaks after like 90 days, right? Guess what it was made? It is in China or by the China manufacturer that did a poor processing by cheap by selecting the poor the cheapest manufacturing process for their budget. Sunway Photo doesn't do that. This is called aluminum aerospace aluminum alloy. This is called T6061. I'm just emphasizing, ladies and gentlemen, stop blaming China for everything. Blame the individual. Because it's not China, that is. It's just people trying to find a cheaper way to make the product cheaper, but sell it for a higher 300% price. Douge. Some way photo doesn't do that. But Small Rigs does. And Small Rigs, as you witnessed earlier this month or last month, they sent me my fucking money back from my fucking uh, cage after months of complaining to them. And now they apologize and they send me a new email. They want my they want my my opinion about the service. I'm like, what? You want my opinion on something? Suck a suck a back at my panda balls. Come on, friend. You literally just told on yourself on social media that you fucked up on my channel. Small rigs. And you claim that all your products are high quality, which are not. So with that said everyone. Don't blame China for some of the products. Blame the individual that literally is selling it from China and is manufacturing it at a cheaper process. I guarantee you, if you pay more money to process your goods with a good manufacturer that can literally give you a product that's like, oh, this is well made. I'm only paying, what, $3 and for this wagon is probably, what, $10 maybe to, let me estimate. To make this wagon, it's probably like 20 to $25, right? But they scale it and sell it at a, at a 300% value at like, what, $150? But their manufacturer costs, only cost them about $25 to make this wagon. That's the point. If you buy a premium high quality wagon, I'm pretty sure the cost to make the wagon will be a lot, much higher and you pay much more for that wagon. For instance, professional videography wagons cost about $1,000, right? Those are made at a value, I'm, I'm estimating here, estimating here, that I'm pretty sure that the cost to make those $1,000 wagons cost about $100. So, same thing happens every single time. And then, yes, true and scary, that's kind of true. He says that it seems like the wagon has caused you nothing but stress and discomfort. It is stress and discomfort because I'm looking down all the time at the ball bearings. Like, oh, look, I had to use gloves to take the ball bearings out because I didn't want dirty my hands. Because look at these sexy, dry ass hands. <laughs> but you get to what I'm saying, true and scary, that like, yeah, you're right. It's stressful. 
to worry about the wagon falling apart. It is discomfort that you purchase a wagon knowing that if the baron, if the baron breaks in within the first eight hours, then the next baron is going to break in the next hour. And that's what happened. All the brands came apart. So I decided to take my rollerblader wheels and take the bearings out of those and put those ball bearings inside there. So with that said, I'm gonna probably show you the ball bearings I have. If I do have them listed here in my archives. Now I don't have it listed here, but this is the ball bearings I want to buy for this wagon. They're not too expensive, it's like 20 bucks. But they're gonna do the job. But I want my Swiss ball bearings. They call Swiss bone bearings. Please look that up right now, ladies and gentlemen. Google it right now. Swiss bone eight back nine bearings. And watch you're gonna be like, what panda? You paid a hundred and fucking forty dollars for these bearings? They are premium, high quality, titanium, heat resistant ball bearings for rollerblader aggressive sports. I do aggressive sports. So I'm just trying to emphasize to you guys why cheap bearings cannot match the bearings that I have in my rollerblades. It would never come close. It would never come close. Yes, scary. It's just the wheel, the ball bearings that are failing. But now it's not failing because I switched all the ball bearings. I took all the ball, ball bearings out. So now it's just the Swiss ball bearings inside the wagon. They should be in my rollerblades. They should stay in my rollerblades. That's the point I'm trying to tell you. That my bearings should have stayed in my rollerblades. It should never have... I should never have to do a DIY project swapping bearings just so I can roll around this fucking miserable city. <laughs> it sucks. You buy something and you, you, you're happy at first and then it breaks on you and you just, yeah, it's, 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 it's money that you guys gave me. That's why I'm mad. This is why I'm mad. It's money that you guys gave me to get this fucking wagon. That's why I'm pissed. This is why I'm telling Amazon, people helped me get this wagon. People gave me the money to get the wagon. And this is how you treat my audience, Amazon, like pieces of shit. So now I'm gonna treat you like a piece of shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my two cents why you should give me a refund, Amazon. This is part acceptance. You should examine every single product that you manufacture or sell on your e-commerce store. Mind you, Amazon is an e-commerce store. So Amazon, why don't you do your part and evaluate these products before you sell it on your e-commerce store? Because my audience is not happy. I'm mad for them. I'm not mad because of me. I'm mad for them because they put in the effort for me to get the wagon. I'm fighting for my audience money, not for my money, because it's not my money. I'm fighting for my audience money, because my audience trusts me to buy a wagon. I did. I bought the wagon, and look what happened. So Amazon owes you guys an apology. They don't owe me an apology, really. They owe you an apology. We are so sorry that we mistreat your favorite YouTuber, and he purchased a wagon, so we are going to refund you. No, Amazon wants to give my friend Melissa a hard time because she's not really like the directive person to actually handle it. I am. I will literally curse Amazon the fuck out like I always have. This is why I stopped buying from Amazon directly and I stopped using Prime because I was having problems with Prime. They said, oh yeah, it was Prime. It come in two days. Turns out, no, it come in seven days. Remember the last wagon? It said two days and it said, oh no, it's estimated 10 days. What? You guys just switched the date on me and I screenshot it and they literally got caught and they lied. Amazon was trying to get more money out of me to ship the product faster. When I already have Prime. What are you talking about? I have Prime. This is why Prime doesn't make sense either. 
Prime supposed to be automatic, guaranteed two days. But this wagon did come in by Tuesday. It, it, it came in Monday, actually. Yeah, it came in Monday. Broke on Monday night. <laughs> came on Monday evening. Picked it up. Thank you, Billy, by the way. Picked it up. Took it back. And within within the eight hours, it broke. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It's, it's kind of funny. Yes. It's kind of funny. But it also shows you that I have the worst luck in the fucking world. I, I literally have the worst luck in the world. Not only that, I got a ticket yesterday. I got kicked out of the library yesterday. The day before that, I was discriminated. The day before that, it was fucking cold. I couldn't even find food. The day before that, oh, uh, I don't know. What the hell happened the day before that? Oh, yeah. I was just wandering the streets. Because I'm so bored. Guys, you don't understand. I sit here anywhere, right? I'm bored. Doesn't matter what work that I do that for my photography or videography, I'm still bored. Yeah, I can go take some photos, grass, but you can't trust a lot of people in New York City. Why? You know what happened last time, right? We ran into an issue with someone as we were photographing on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. Yeah, that incident with the old man. Yeah, that was pretty disgraceful. And some people agree with the old man. I was like, really? He's violating human rights. Are you literally... <laughs> this is why I always say... To a lot of Americans, like... That's not being an American if you're going to violate someone else's human and constitutional rights. Oh, my load got lighter now since I saw a couple of things. <laughs> I saw a couple of things. It got lighter. But my, this wagon is supposed to be fit. It's supposed to support 120 grams, right? But it doesn't support 120 grams. It supports 160, maybe 170 grams. I mean, 100. Oh, I say grams. I'm sorry. 100 and. Uh, I don't know pounds. I know about kilograms. Sorry. But in pounds, it's supposed to support 100, 220 pounds, but it doesn't. So my load is probably like uh, 150 pounds right now. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't necessarily count it every day. So take it with the grain of salt. I don't count it every day. So these fucking weird people just keep acting like they're uh, yeah. I'm just waiting for someone to disrespect me again today. Oh yeah, let's talk about that early today and and, 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 and Fifth Avenue. So we was in Manhattan today and we are on Fifth Avenue. You know what the Grand, what is that place? Grand Army Plaza, next to the street, cause it's across the street from the Home Alone the hotel they filmed out Home Alone uh, movie. I was, I was there. And I was actually using the Wi-Fi, and this person comes up to me and says, I see you sometimes, who are you? I said, that's not your concern. Who are you to ask me who am I? That's not fair. You should greet yourself politely first, and then I will greet myself. She goes, oh, that's not how it works, because you don't belong here. And I was like, oh, you wanted those Karens again. Okay, we're gonna start off the wrong foot. Listen, lady, Either you're going to step away or I'm going to bash your face into that concrete floor. I don't care if you're a woman anymore. You people here are going too far with this entitlement shit. I would slam that woman's face into the pavement. The way she, the words that she spoke was totally just... Until another white couple came over and said, You're a racist little white little fucking bitch. They literally cursed her out and scared her away. Mind you, I was on the corner not in my business. I wasn't even expecting that. But it happened until this white couple came along and said, like, you okay? And I'm like, I'm good. I was gonna slash that bitch face into concrete. She said the N-word several times. That's not polite. 
say the N word like several times, act like you you're entitled to say that word. You're not. No one's entitled to say that word. You have no business using the N word towards me for no reason. Tell me, you see me all the time, ma'am. I do not even hang out in Manhattan. That's a lie. <laughs> that was a full fucking lie. You guys know for a fact I do not hang out in Manhattan. If I do hang out in Manhattan, it's East Village or Harlem. <laughs> I'm glad that white couple came over and gave her the two cents. <laughs> fuck I want to hang out in Midtown for only time I want to go there is for conducting business or I have to transfer or take the train somewhere or I'm taking the train through there and passing by and that is only it that is the only reason why she even going into Manhattan and doing any business but then again P59 is in Manhattan that's the studio there's 60 there's the Beyond studio here in Brooklyn this is why I prefer this being in Brooklyn. I prefer to be in Brooklyn or Queens. Fucking Manhattan is so toxic, man. <laughs> so toxic. Look at you. Do you see any toxic right now? Look at that. You got a woman taking care of the park. She's been here through this whole summer and winter. Her, and her husband, I believe. Look at that. Look at the people having a good time, peaceful in a park. You go to Central Park, it's not that peaceful. It is peaceful in Central Park, but it's more like, oh, you want a hot dog? Five dollars. What? Five dollars for a hot dog? <laughs> oh, my panda. So with that said, everyone. Oh, yeah, the reason why I come in, because there's free Wi-Fi. There's a Wi-Fi box here. There's a Wi-Fi box over there. There's a Wi-Fi box over there. There's a Wi-Fi. Look, Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, Christina. Look, look, Dunkin' Donuts across the street. Use that Wi-Fi, too. <laughs> look at this. They do all of that to just to go to the market. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I don't mess with the firefighters. I always got love for the firefighters. But the police, I don't have love for them at all. <laughs> Firefighters, you got all the respect for me, friend. But the police, uh-uh. No, 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 no. You guys been seeing what's going on? Yeah, Adams have a lot to explain it to do. He has a lot to explain it to do. But anyway, what? I'm just pissed off that I literally took my ball bearings out my bearing, well, out my skates and put them, all of them, not all of them, eight of them, out of 16 in my wagon. So technically... Amazon owes me about uh, 70 US dollars. So, with that said, I'm gonna get going. I got a life. I got some, act I, I need some, I need some activities to do. I wanna, uh, see, I wanna husky. See that? Everyone buys huskies now. I remember when Huskies weren't even a thing in the U.S. back in the 90s. No one even thought about buying a Husky until now. I had two Huskies. I had two Corkies. I had one German Shepherd. Had one Rabbit. One Guinea, uh, one guinea Pig. One, I think it was Cuban Iguana. I bought the iguana off a student. Student was saying that he had to get rid of his stuff, so I bought the iguana. Yeah, I bought the iguana, took care of the iguana. Had a bird. What else? Uh, well, technically it wasn't my bird, it was my mother's bird, but uh, I digress. But yeah, I had a lot of pets. And my husky did not cost me that much when I was in Japan. Literally, it was free. <laughs> yeah, you go dot with dog. <laughs> People want to pay. People want to say, "Oh, I paid it. I paid three thousand dollars for my dog." No, you did not, lady. You even probably adopted the dog, or you sp someone you bought the dog for like five hundred bucks, and now you want to try to say that. Yeah, I see people do that a lot. This is why, guys. I know a dog owner that raises pure American pit bulls in California. His name is Rico. He's a photographer as well. 
He hasn't been on this channel in a while. He hasn't been visiting, but he's been busy. He's a family man. He breeds pure American pit bull dogs. Pure. And he agreed with me about some of these fake ass pit bulls. Some people are claiming, oh, it's a pure breed. That's not a pure breed, dude. That's a half breed. It's mixed. No, it's too small to be a pure breed. Real American pit bulls are huge as fuck. <laughs> they like, they like. You ever seen? You ever go to like a? You ever go to like? Okay, let's, let's make it simple. They like fucking muscle geek dogs. You know, muscle bound dogs with mad muscle. <laughs> but anyway, what? I digress. So disappointed about this wagon, man. I want to skate. Now I gotta fucking wait to buy roll. I, listen, th this is why I'm telling everyone. My even when houses or traveling, this is cost efficiently, costing me money. This is literally costing me money when things break down. And then I tell you guys what happened, and some of you guys probably don't even believe me. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of you guys think I'm trying to make you for money. You, you think so? Okay. All right, we're not actually showing you what happened. Look, look what happened when the ball bearing broke. You see that dark spot right there? Why is that there? Ooh, clean that off. Ew, what is that? Ew. I don't even know what that fucking is, man. Or <laughs> well, maybe that came off the bearing, because those are the Swiss ball bearings. I did lube them before I put them in these wheels. Yeah, I do I do have lube and oil and spread. Oh my panda. <laughs> Fucking wagons, man. You know what I need? You know what I need, guys? I need one of those, uh... I saw an bi electric bicycle with one of those trolleys. Those trolleys? Oh, my panda. That's what I fucking need. An electric bike with the, with the, with the back trolley in the back for all of this stuff. It would make my life much easier. Cloud says, hopefully my mod will hold up. Oh, dude. Those are, those are Swiss ball bearings. They're not going to break. Think about it. I rollerblade with those same ball bearings. I did 540, 720s, flat spins. I skate skate parks. I land hard all the time. They're not going to break, Cloud. Learn your ball bearings. <laughs> Learn how to buy proper ball bearings. Don't buy cheap ball bearings. Knowing that they're going to break. And by the way, those are the eight old. Those they, those bearings that were in these uh, in these wheels were the six hundred eight ZZ bearings. So Google them on Amazon. You're gonna be like, what? They were six ninety nine for like a twenty four pack or a twenty pack. I see why they were cheap. Think, yeah, Google it right now. Six zero eight ZZ ball bearings. Go ahead. That's what they are. They're cheap ball bearings. They're not high premium. They're not heat resistant. They're not made out of titanium. They're not even made out of ceramic. Oh my panda. <laughs> so with that said everyone, hopefully this gives you an insight about why I'm so pissed off right now. And why I have to spend more money on rollerblades again so I can properly skate in the streets of New York because those wheels are gonna, guys, if I was to skate with those barbarians, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna hit face first on the pavement face first on the pavement think about that ladies and gentlemen if i go rollerblade with those barons in my rollerblades i'm gonna hit my face on the pavement why are you gonna say because when they break the wheel's gonna choke there's no spin they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to spin what happens you're gonna get stuck they're gonna move up and down and you're gonna flip forward back in the day any rollerblade will tell you back in the day there was a manufacturer that manufactured ball bearings and they're not in business anymore. They were called Triple Eight. Triple Eight used to actually make ball bearings. If you know who Triple Eight was, back in the rollerblading industry, you know who they were. They were a good brand. 
the backpacks were cool. Some of their helmets were cool. Even though the helmets technically were a sponsor or a collab with another high quality manufacturer. And they made some cheap ball bearings that broke all the fucking time. And they were not made out of titanium. They were made out of high quality metal, but it was the center column with the spacer, with the ball bearings that always break. So, yeah. So if you are a rollerblader or a skateboarder, you know what I'm talking about, about triple eight ball bearings back in the day in the 90s? Yeah, please leave a comment down below and say, yes, there were some fucked up bearings back in the day, friend. They wanted like, they wanted like $70 for those ball bearings. And they would dip very poorly because when you, okay, so when you had to clean the ball bearings, they were the worst ball bearings to clean because the ball bearings themselves were not like anti like stainless steel ball bearings. They were not. Just like these ball bearings that were in this wagon, they weren't in titanium steelless ball bearings. They're not steelless ball bearings. What's that's when I'll ask you this question, ladies and gentlemen. What steel is barbarians cost $6.99 in the world? Think about that. Steel is barbarians. Don't cost no $6.99. That's why you buy barons that are met to sustain friction, heat, and abuse. Swiss barbarians are that. Or any skateboard manufacturer rollerblade or barons or rollerblade Rollerblade and skateboard manufacturing ball bands now are much better from the 90s. You should be buying those, not some cheap knockoff Amazon cheap. Oh, I'm gonna do cheap. These ball bands are great. $8.99. Yay! <laughs> Amazon pissed me off. And they refused to give my friend her money back. So now I'm gonna have to ha ask her to call Amazon while I'm on the phone. Let me explain it to them. You saw us ball bearings, six or eight ZZs that are not titanium, they're not metal friction, they don't absorb heat, and they do not take impact. So let's say you're walking down the street, right? And the ground and the ground is up and down. It's unstable. You're bouncing on gravel that's unbalanced. You know what happens? That you know what happens with that strength? The ball bearings are getting this. They're like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna survive anymore. Boom! They explode and they break. That's what happens. Cheap ball bearings. The cheapest ball bearings. I can't believe. So I'm gonna contact the manufacturer. Even though I didn't make a purchase, I'm gonna let them know that like, you sold my friend cheap ball bearings. And we want a refund. Here is the order number. You need to refund me back my money. My friend back the money so she can refund me so I can pay to fix this fucking iPhone. Cause guess what guys? So this camera is now working, but at night it doesn't want to work. I don't understand why it does not do that. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I <laughs> spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, my panda. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, spoke too soon, ladies and gentlemen. It went to the frizz. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, see? Look, see? You see this, guys? Do you see what's going on with my fucking iPhone right now? <laughs> what? Oh, my panda. I need to get this iPhone fixed. I'm so sick. I can't. Oh, yeah. By the way. By the way. I want to do a plug. I want to do a plug. I want to do a plug. Guys, if you want me to cover the St. Patrick's Day Parade on March 17th, 2023, it is February. If you want me to cover that, I will, but I must have a hostel. And I'm going to use this gimbal. These lights, these ball heads from Sunway Photo to make my live stream. If you want, if you want to see this parade, please consider 
of donating to the PayPal Cash App memo. Actually, straight me to the PayPal. Because Cash App would just end up buying food and I get hungry a lot. Actually, I'm, I'm hungry now, but I digress. <laughs> but yeah, if you want me to cover the St. Patrick's debate, I will because I do have a media pass for New York City to cover that event. That means I could be on the floor without any police bullshit like last year at Thanksgiving after the NYPD apologized by email about the misunderstanding. Do you guys remember that? I was not some, I was not, I was actually surprised myself that I got an email from the city saying we apologize for the mis in in inconvenience. And this is why I got that, that, that media pass for two years. And this is why a lot of people saying, wait, media passes only last a year in New York City. How do you get a two year pass? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but with that said, everyone, if you want me to cover it, please consider donating to the PayPal for only two days because I'm going to check in on the 16th, 17th, and then check on the 18th. Because some of you guys are Irish and I respect all you Irish men and women. It's a fun day, and I think you guys will appreciate the parade. So that means I can be walking down the parade, the entire parade. It's going to be on Fifth Avenue. So that's just the perfect spot to video rock. It actually is the perfect spot because the rising works so good in that area. <laughs> so no more pixelating like we did last year. Remember the guy guys with Simple Mobile? Pixelating videos and interruptions. We don't get those anymore so far. And right now, I'm using a Ryzen. Well, technically, I don't have it on. I don't have my phone on. I'm using Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, I'm using Wi-Fi right now. But you get my point. When I did have the switch over, when a Ryzen switched over two months ago or three months ago, we were really getting some good exception. So if you want to see that parade, please subscribe, like, and share it, and let me know down in the comments. You want to see the St. Patrick's Parade? And I left a community post on YouTube. So if you didn't see that, yeah, you should pay attention to the community post on YouTube. So you can see what I'm actually typing. And by the way, this happened also. YouTube just now decided to demonetize a video that's been up for almost seven and a half years. It's been monetized. And now they're trying to say the music that I use is copyright. No, it was not copyright. You provided it on your free website, on your free library, YouTube. So I don't want to hear that, YouTube. You provided this song on your free library. It's been free for the last 10 years. And now I Googled the same song in Arthur. YouTube is the one that's behind the copyright shit right now because if you google the title the song that you if you google the title of this song and the artist right now you're going to see in the archives that why is YouTube saying that it was released in 2023 that's because YouTube licensed it in 2023 that is not fair for content creators that have been using this song for 10 years when you provide it for free, um, uh, YouTube, that is bullshit. Now you want to demonetize the video? I'm telling you guys, YouTube's not being fair. Just read. Yeah. They're not being fair. They provided this song, and now they want to copyright it. That's not fair. That is not fair use. So with that said... Hey, Cloud, I don't know at the time because listen, friend, hostels change their prices all the time. So I'm going to estimate it $55 a night. $50, $55 a night at a, at a hostel. Plus taxes and hostel fees were probably coming to like 67 I don't know, with taxes and fees, yes. $67, $65, I don't know. $66, $63 estimated, I don't know. But it's not March 17th, it's March 16th. But 
I did let the more hostel know that I was going to come back around that time for the parade. Cause they don't, I, I, honestly, I made good friends at that hostel. The owner is always happy to see me because when I'm at the hostel, I'm always getting people in the hostel together and we always getting together in the game room or in the TV room, either having fun, they buy the drinks. I can't drink right now because I'm having this problem about my stomach. But to end it, I was telling Billy that shit yesterday too. Or the day before yesterday, when I pick up my Sunway photo stuff, he was, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not drinking, dude. I, I don't want to drink. I, I, I just refuse to drink because, like, I'm in a situation right now when I don't need to be drinking right now. It's okay to have a, have a White Claw now and then, but he's, yeah. But he's drinking, like, liquor, and I'm like, I don't do liquor, son. I do sake. Do you do sake? <laughs> you do soju. Those are the two best things in the world. Sake and soju. Listen, if you're not drinking Sapporo or Keaton beer, then you're not drinking the right beer. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be biased, everyone. I just, those are my preferred beers. Sapporo, Keaton. Yeah, those are my, my, recommendation, my recommendation beers. But anyway. But Cloud, I don't know. I can't price the, the hostel right now at this time. It's, I can book it now. But I would have to pay now. <laughs> and honestly, I don't have money. I need to fix this phone first. If I want to live stream. So this is the problem with this, this wide angle. The wide angle is scratched. And you, you can see some type of flare. You're not supposed to see flare in this, with this lens. You go to this lens. It's, it's, it's scratched somehow or blurred. You go to this lens, it, it acts correctly sometimes, but at night, it doesn't want to. Like, let's see here. It's doing fine now. Oh, my panda. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, it's doing fine now. But, yeah, but at night, all lenses, I don't know what's going on. These two lenses just, they do some cloudy stuff like this. I don't know what's going on. And apparently someone someone told me that it could be a malfunction with that, with that cameras. Did you drop the cameras? Did you break the back panel? I did break the back panel. Maybe moisture got into it. Maybe, I don't know, fragments of dust or dirt. I don't know. I can't say for sure. I don't know. I'm not an expert about what happened with my lenses, but it happened. But anyway, all links down in the description below, everybody. But I'm gonna get going. I gotta save batteries because uh, I'm, I'm out here all the damn fucking time and I'm cold. I need to find a warm place right now because my hands are like kind of freezing. But with that said, even though I have gloves, I just, my body is just cold. It's been, listen, when you're out here 24 7, 365, you kind of want to be in a warm place, friend. Seriously, don't be stupid. <laughs> But anyway, enough of my rant about this fucking stupid wagon, man. Oh my panda. Can't believe the fucking ball bands. On the first, second, and third date. Sucks. <laughs> so sucky. But anyway. Ball bands are right there. Yeah. But with that said it. Let me get going, guys. I need to find some activities because I need to keep warm. Because, oh yeah, tomorrow it's going to snow all, yeah. I think we, I think we, New York is finally going to get their snowstorm. Because if you didn't see what's going to happen in, let me show you. Uh, where did I post it? Right here. There we go. All right. I want to show you guys first. Snow tomorrow night. Watch it for potential snowstorm tomorrow night. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble now. <laughs> I am in trouble. I'm in trouble. So with that said, everyone. Yeah, I think New York is finally going to get some snow. So, yeah. It's not looking very good for me. 
but probably but I see something in my lens I don't know what it is could be some lint could be some something from the camera I don't know but with that said everyone I'm gonna get going if you guys want to support the links are down in the description below actually I have two links to new two new donation links so if you're international this called wise wise is an international uh, transfer service for anyone that's international that watches my content if you want, want to support that way you can support that way and then there's another link for another donation link yeah I have to prove my identity and all my credentials in order to get that stuff to work yes it doesn't it's not like PayPal you just sign up and you don't have to prove really anything or cash app no, this is wise. This is an international bank. They they check for like a background check and they want you to add a credit card just in case you do something illegally. I don't know. But yeah. I'm gonna to talk to you guys later. I gotta conserve battery. See ya. And we were gonna I need to find some food. I'm hungry, man. Stupid fucking community refrigerators are so stupid. Why is this thing not ending? Oh my panda, the live stream won't end. Come on, friend, end. Oh my panda, it is stuck. Uh oh, I think it's stuck. Uh oh, 